Hi everyone, I'm Coach Levi. This is Coach Dallas uh, from CrossFit Cure. We just wanted to uh, make a video for you guys with all these home workouts we've been doing. Um, we do some setup and we know a lot of you run to just find something to lift. Um, so we wanted to make a video specifically so you could know what to look for. If you don't have weights at home, I know a lot of you have dumbbells, but things like barbells, it gets a little trickier to know what to lift. So we're gonna take you through a, th a few items and then you can prepare these for when we do our at-home workouts, you can use these items. Uh, so we're gonna start just with some loose items around the house. Now, a lot of our workouts at home call for picking up a heavy object. What's a heavy object? What can be anything you want? So we have an example here. We've got uh, some gallon jugs here, right? You can fill those with water. That's 8.8 .8 pounds. If you go down to a wash, fill them up with sand, that's gonna be closer to 12 and a half pounds. Or you can put that together, fill them with wet sand, you're gonna be closer to 17, 18 pounds there. So those make a great weight to use for a variety of movements. We've also got a bag of dog food here. This is something heavy you can pick up. These come in pretty big varieties. You can get a 15 pound bag, a 30 pound bag, sometimes even heavier. So you can do all kinds of versatile movements with these like Dallas is demonstrating. Great, thanks Dallas. And we know a lot of you also have resistance bands, so um, just keep in mind you can do movements with these like banded good mornings. Um, if you have these, you can even put them up over like that. You can put them in your hands and actually do something like a thruster where you come down, stand up. They're stretchy, so use those for resistance training if you don't have weights available. If you That's need something, what's that? That's a fun one. Yeah, if you need something heavier, most of us have backpacks. I just went through the office, filled this up with my water bottle, some books. We had some like cans of seltzer water. You can fill it with that. Just wrap it up in a towel. This, in about 30 seconds, I was able to fill this with 25 pounds worth of stuff. So if you're gonna use this, just make sure you keep it tight so that everything stays together, especially if you're going up overhead. Um, I didn't cinch this one down all the way, but that's something you'll wanna do. And uh, wrap everything in a towel in there. If you want to go even bigger, some of us have a duffel bag, so I can even just throw the backpack in the duffel bag. If I want, I can throw the dog food in the duffel bag, and that's going to make it somewhere around 40 to 50 pounds. Again, close it up, cinch it up. If you want to wrap some duct tape around it, you can do that. As a reminder, if we're lifting anything heavy, like in deadlift style, we're going to go sumo. So get your feet out wide because we're lifting from between our legs there. So this one's not cinched up, but you can see, you can get it pretty heavy pretty quick and get a nice uh, weight for a deadlift. All right, so that's the loose objects. Now we're gonna move on to some gymnastic movements we can do at home. All right, guys, we're gonna show you how to do some movements with some at-home objects. The first one we're gonna go over is dips. These work really well if you have countertop space next to each other, or you can pull up two chairs next to each other, it works just as well. So what you wanna do in this position, make sure that your countertop is stable and close together, belly stays tight, and you'll lower yourself down and back up. If you don't have two stable chairs, you can use one bench object, or if you have even a planter box in the front or backyard, that would look like this. Awesome. All right, another really cool option is using a PVC pipe. If you are able to leave your house and run to a Home Depot or Lowe's, you can get these cut to size for pretty cheap. PVC pipes are awesome for stretching, so we can warm up our shoulders with pass-throughs. We can also use a PVC pipe for overhead squats. And like Levi is showing, if you do not have a PVC pipe, a broom would work just as well. Another option for pull-ups, since most people don't have a pull-up rig in their house, you can actually put two chairs together, create yourself a pull-up rig. Coach Levi is doing this one because Coach Dal doesn't want to be in the blooper reels. <laughs> now, the important thing here is making sure your hands are close to your chairs because this is where your stability is going to come from. So hands out wide, close to your support. If you have swivel chairs, Try to keep those balanced. If your chairs stay in position, that's going to be even better. And then pull yourself up to the bar. 
if you're not comfortable doing pull-ups onto a chair with a PVC pipe or a broom, another really good option is bent over rows. So all we're looking here for here when we call for a pull-up movement is working these muscles here, which a bent over row takes care of. So you guys have some homework for this weekend so we can start using some of these movements next week. Just find stuff you have laying around uh, and we can set these up. Again, we can scale these movements if you don't have any of these items, but it's a great way to create some weights um, so that we can get that weightlifting aspect of CrossFit that you don't necessarily get at home normally. So thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you at the gym. Have fun!